What's going on folks? My name is Josh and you are watching The Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to the channel. And in today's video, guys, we've got my first mystery tackle box. So stick around. Bam. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. Right, now, as you can see, guys, the box has been opened. Let me tell you a little something about that. I live in a small community with mailboxes out front. They're like locked and they're steel. They're really heavy duty and they're just as wide as this box. Now this mail guy put this thing into the mailbox and then I have to pry it out with my knife because the hinge on the door blocks it from coming out smoothly. So that's awesome by my mail guy. So the box is mangled and I did open it, but let's get into the contents of the box. All right, as soon as you open it up, there's usually an information card in there with some tricks and tips on how to catch some fish using these baits. There's also a card in the box telling you how much each of these baits are and how much you're saving by getting this mystery tackle box. Looks like we've got some extra wide gap hooks, maybe three out, four out, and some weird little rings on there. I'm not fully sure what that's about. It says, for full rigging tips and to check out our full line of fishing products, visit HarmonyFishing.com. All right, now next up, you can see we've got a Booyah Buzz Bait. This bait is called the Squelcher. It comes in a half ounce, a nice chartreuse, really colorful, and it has a giant blade on it. Looks as if it's made to click on the wire of the bait and make a little extra noise. I'm interested to use that, see how it works. Because of the colors of the baits in this box, I came to a little bit of a muddier body of water, so I'm excited to try some of these baits. Next up, guys, we have a Vexen Deep Thud Series Noken Trophy Game Fish Crank Bait. It's got a pretty colorful pattern on there. Looks like a kind of a sexy shad kind of color. Um, a lot of chartreuse on there. Hopefully that works in the body of water I came to. Next, we have a soft plastic made by Gambler. This is kind of a fluke style bait called the four inch flapping shad it's got a nice green pumpkin color to it might put one of those as a trailer on the buzz bait to try to get two lures down in with one fish hopefully next up in the box we've got a cream lures speed screamer four pack green pumpkin let this be a lesson to you guys look at that hopefully that red comes up on camera didn't wear my gloves one day Look at that. All right, guys. Last time we were able to fish this pond, we uh, were bed fishing. And now we've got perfectly calm still water. It's almost 7 p.m. and I'm thinking the top water bite might happen. So here's to hoping. I'm gonna start with this mystery tackle box buzz bait and a soft plastic trailer on it that came in the mystery tackle box. This is a Booyah buzz bait with a massive blade on it. Might be a little bit big for this pond, but I think in these low light conditions, everything's shaded in the water. So I think in these low light conditions, this thing might actually catch a bite or two. But there's only one way to find out. Bluegill and the crappie in this pond are going to be spawning very soon, if not already. So these bass should be staging up, getting ready to feed on them. One mystery tackle box fish. Sweet. That's two baits from the mystery tackle box down. He might be a dink, but that's one fish, guys. Feisty. Man, we're gonna let that guy go. There you go. All right, guys, we are back at it with the mystery tackle box slam. I lost one lure earlier today at another pond. 
had to go pick up my wife and kid. I'm back at it. Now, to replace that lost lure, I have another crankbait that is the same brand, and hopefully it'll work. This pond is loaded with weeds, but we'll see. So we are getting back at it now. I have replaced the missing crankbait from my tackle, from my mystery tackle box, with another crankbait of the same brand from Mystery Tackle Box just a couple months ago. This one is a half ounce, dives to about four feet, very similar to the crankbait that I was missing. Then I took the other bait, the other soft plastic that came in the box and hooked it up on the hook that came in the box and just hooked it up to Texas Rig. So I'm hopefully that's gonna catch me some fish. And we can work on that crankbait. Ooh, we're gonna toss out the square bill, see if we can make sense of this thing. See how well it does in all this grass. I'm not really a square bill kind of guy. I don't really throw this. Throwing it on a seven foot medium heavy. Tell you that set that extra few inches on the seven feet give you a much longer cast. Got a fish. There it is. That's a good fish. All right. It's a good fish. Crankbait fish. All right, buddy. All right. Don't you hook me. All right. All right. Not a bad fish. Got me a crankbait fish. Okay. We got one more bait to see if we can catch a fish on it. We haven't even left the first spot. We haven't even fished anywhere else on this pond. All right, let's let her go. Damn, these fishing gloves. Okay. Here she goes. All right, now let's move on to the other soft plastic that came in the box. It's kind of this creature. It almost looks like a little bit of a fish, kind of slash grasshopper, something. Definitely a creature bait. I might cheat with this thing, guys. I might. If I if we have a hard time, I might put that on the buzz bait. Interesting action, just swimming it. See if I can get hooked up. Just swimming this thing. Power fishing the way I like to do. Might have to work a little harder for this one, guys. This bait doesn't call them in. Damn, super slow reel. I couldn't pick up the slack. I felt the bite. The fish hit it and dropped it. Yeah, that's what they want. Something to be kind of moving pretty good. Got him! Oh my gosh! There was that fish right there. Got a fish. There it is. Got him. Got him. Yes. Sweet. Third fish. He's got a bunch of grass in his mouth. All right. It's a bunch of grass right here. I'm not letting him go like that. So I'm going to toss him out there. Little buddy. Swim free. That is every bait in the mystery tackle box. 
except for the crankbait, but I did substitute. All right, guys, this is where we're gonna end the video. First mystery tackle box slam, done, complete, made it happen. I'm gonna be making a video soon talking about mystery tackle box and how I've been using them and why I haven't told anybody. Guys, I wanna talk about today's mystery tackle box. We had two soft plastics, some hooks, a buzz bait, and a crankbait. I decided to take one of those soft plastics and I put it on the buzz bait. Two baits, down, got one fish. So then I took the crankbait, tossed that around, and I lost that crankbait at the pond that I was at earlier. I want to complete this slam and I want to make it honest. So I'm telling you guys that. So what I did to try to complete this slam is I decided to take a crankbait from a previous month's box and try to catch a fish on it, and I did. So I took that off, and then I decided to Texas rig with the hooks the last soft plastic that came in the box. It took me a little while, I tried swimming it, I tried flipping it, I tried dragging it. Guys, I had a really good time with this mystery tackle box slam. I'm super glad I completed it. I know it wasn't a pro box. Might have been a little bit of a longer video, might have been a little bit of a harder video. Right now, I only get the regular box. Not to say I don't want the pro box, it's not to say I don't think it's worth it. I think mystery tackle box is 100% worth it. I'm gonna make it a video about that sometime in the near future. Guys, if you like this video, you like what my channel's about, hit that subscribe button right there. Click the notification bell so YouTube notifies you want to do a new video and if you guys want to see more videos like this check out the playlist of videos i got set up for you guys right over here or check one of these two videos and i'll see you guys over there Bye.